Tonight at 10, the Work and Pension Secretary, Ian Duncan Smith, resigns from the Cabinet. He'd been in the job for almost six years, presiding over far-reaching welfare reforms, but tonight he says the Treasury put too much pressure on him to save money. The resignation follows controversy over cuts to disability benefits. We'll have the very latest from Downing Street. A very good evening to you. Ian Duncan Smith has resigned from the Cabinet. In a statement, the Work and Pension Secretary said too much pressure had been put on him and his department to reduce disability benefits. The shock move comes after mounting controversy over £4 billion of planned cuts to personal independence payments, which could affect hundreds of thousands of people. Mr Duncan Smith says the cuts were not defensible within a budget that benefited higher earners. Well, let's go straight to Downing Street now and our political editor. Editor, Laura Koonsberg, who's there. Laura, um, he's been at work and pensions for six years. Has this illusionment been brewing for some time? Well, I think there had been bad blood off and on between George Osborne at the Treasury and Ian Duncan Smith over some of the more controversial welfare reforms that have been designed and imposed in recent years. But nobody expected this move, only 48 hours since the budget. And one of the most senior figures in government who's been in the job for six years has decided rather than defend this reform publicly, he has decided instead to walk out in protest over reforms in his own department. A surprise for government and a bombshell at a very sensitive time. Here is my colleague Alex Forsyth with more. For years he's been at the heart of the Conservative Party, a former leader who since the Tories returned to power in 2010 has been driving through his welfare reforms in Cabinet. But tonight, Ian Duncan Smith unexpectedly quit, saying he could take no more of the government's approach to cutting welfare, questioning whether we are all in this together. In his resignation letter, Ian Duncan Smith wrote, I have for some time and rather reluctantly come to believe that the latest changes to benefits to the disabled are a compromise too far. He continued, too often my team and I have been pressured in the immediate run-up to a budget or fiscal event to deliver yet more reductions to the Working Age Benefit Bill. First elected to Parliament in 1992, Ian Duncan Smith has always prided himself on his principles. Committed Eurosceptic from the start, he was a frequent rebel during John Major's negotiations on the Maastricht Treaty. But the rebel turned leader. He succeeded William Hague in 2001 and put crime, transport, schools and hospitals at the top of the Conservative agenda. But never a great Commons performer, Ian Duncan Smith eventually stepped down after pressure from within his own party. A small group of my parliamentary colleagues have decided consciously to undermine my leadership. Now it's his resignation piling pressure on his own party leader. Well, in a way, I wasn't surprised because Ian's always been a man of principle and conviction. And he only took on the job, um, uh, work and pensions, because he passionately believed in social justice. And he was doing a tremendous uh, job in reforming it. A row following the budget led to this resignation. The Treasury appeared to try and lay the blame at Ian Duncan Smith's door for planned cuts to disability payments, which have now been kicked into the long grass. It's understood it was the final straw for the Work and Pension Secretary. Ian Duncan Smith pitched himself against his government by declaring he'd campaign to leave the EU, expected given his long-held view, but a sign of deep ideological difference. Now he's made those differences public. He says he's incredibly proud of the welfare reforms the government's delivered, but lately saw spending decisions as political rather than in the national economic interest. It's a damning verdict from a senior figure, the quiet man. Well, let's go back to uh, Laura Koonsberg, who's at Downing Street for us now. Laura, I mean, is this resignation uh, perhaps also a reflection of the fact that uh, the Work and Pension Secretary hasn't managed to meet the targets for benefit cuts that uh, have been put before him in the last few years? 
Well, Clive, I think certainly there's been huge pressure on him at the Department for Work and Pensions. Sources in government, though, say tonight, look, he's resigned over a policy that he was part of designing. He put this all together in conjunction with the Treasury, and they're questioning his motivations somewhat. Senior MPs, however, that I've spoken tonight to tonight say, however, his motivations are very simple. They say he believed that these changes to disability payments went too far. He was then angered when the Treasury tried to pressure his department to defend those changes yesterday and then angered even more so when today other parts of government number 10 and number 11 decided to dump the policy and essentially dumping him right in it now there is of course a very different version of events senior government officials say that they're surprised that he suddenly walked away from something that he was absolutely part of but i think clive you know the real problem for the government the biggest fundamental issue of all is contained in his explosive resignation letter in the last line of that letter he says he believes that the balance of cuts between different parts of society in particular between young and old he questions whether or not the government has got that right and he casts doubt on the government's central mantra that we are all in this together we've all heard dozens of times the prime minister and the chancellor in particular but other ministers too saying the cuts have to happen but we are all in this together the country's national interests everyone's interests come first but in his letter, Ian Duncan Smith casts doubt under that absolutely central claim. And I think in the days to come, that's going to be very difficult indeed for the government to, to, to answer. OK, Laura, many thanks for that. Laura Koonsberg there at Downing Street. Now let's return to our top story tonight, the resignation of the Work and Pension Secretary Ian Duncan Smith. Well, our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, is at Downing Street. Laura, the timing of this resignation, what do you make of it? Well, Clive, in politics, as in so many things in life, timing is very often all. You know, this isn't just a huge slap in the face for the government, particularly George Osborne, 48 hours after his budget. But, of course, the Tory party are embroiled in very difficult internal arguments over the campaign over whether or not we should leave the European Union or not. Now, Ian Duncan Smith was one of the most prominent faces in the campaign for EU exit. And many people in government, many people in the Conservative Party are already suggesting tonight that his departure from government, his walkout, has got more to do with the fact that he also wants to walk out of the EU than the fact that he had become too unhappy about policies that his own department had been designing. But in whichever of those is true, whether it's all about the EU or not, this chucks a whole load of petrol onto the fiery arguments that are already taking place in the Tory party over the European Union campaign. And also it's a gift for the Labour Party. In the last few minutes, Jeremy Corbyn has accused the whole government of being in disarray. They've even called on George Osborne to resign. A government source has told me that is ridiculous, but this is very difficult indeed because the man that was at the forefront of designing and fronting up many of the government's cuts has tonight said that many of them have gone now too far. OK, Laura, thanks for that. Laura Koonsberg there in Downing Street. That's it.